what's the best way that you are finding tenants at the moment? Uh, Facebook marketplace or well, Facebook period. I, I will post it in my own group. And then okay. uh, when you go to post, it will ask you, do you want to add it to these other groups? And I have nine or 10 other groups, mm -hmm. Detroit sell all Detroit rentals, Detroit apartments, Detroit, sell everything, whatever mm -hmm. for Detroit houses, of course. Yep. And I will put it in all those, including marketplace. And that seems to be, has always been historically the best place for me. Mm -hmm. uh, some people use affordablehousing.com, which is the uh, official section eight or HDV program is actually what it's called housing choice voucher program. Uh, mm -hmm. It's their official place, but I get next to nothing from there to do better in their business, but I also have to. I don't know how to do it. Joe Smith said, don't forget about your houses and check on them regularly. Yes. That is, that is true in your, but one thing you got to make sure is in your lease, you have to have a clause for that. If you don't, then they don't have to let you in. That's another you know? uh, important part of any landlording. Uh, for anybody that's in here, whether you're Section 8 or not, make sure that you yes. have a good lease that shows everything you can get leases from a multitude of people. Um, yep. And then it absolutely is, I have a 24-hour notice that I can call or text you and say, in 24 hours, I can come and look through the house. And if they don't like it, I can just use my key to get in, just as simple. Right. So yep. it, it does help. You know, that's kind of the another good thing about Section 8. I've known many landlords that, you know, oh, that – Tenant, that person's been, you know, renting for me for five years. Well, how many times have you been in the house? Uh, once in the last five years. It's like, okay, they're paying the rent. That's great. But right, you, know, you really know what your property. Well, Section 8, they do an inspection uh, one or two years every year right. or every two years. So you kind of have an idea of what's going on. You know, you, mm -hmm. you should know often. Uh, I have it in my lease that, you know, the tenant should be re replacing their smoke detector batteries if they have any mm -hmm. like most of them are to the 10 years now but um or the furnace filters and it doesn't hurt to send your guy to every one of your houses once a year with some furnace filters and hey i'm just here to put in the furnace filter and while they're there look around see how things are 100 yep. yeah. percent. so i <clears throat> uh, you know monique says i go see how they live before i move move them into my house it's kind of an fun unusual <laughs> they, yeah. they show me their their slumlord issues <laughs> yes so that that's kind of a um vetting your tenant 101 uh you yeah. can do background checks if you want you can check their credit i don't i don't even do that stuff half the time mm -hmm. uh what i do is is i talk to the people i one thing i'm kind of famous for is is i will always be at the curb when they dr drive up, I'm, I try never, I'm late for a lot of things, but for one meeting a tenant for the first time or a prospective tenant, I'm always there early so that I can be at the curb. When they drive up, I open the door for them and I'm not doing it to be nice. I'm a nice guy and all, but I do it because I want to see the inside of their car. If the inside of their car, if they have to, um, and Joe Smith just said yeah. that, check their cars. <laughs> you know, if you have to, uh, you know, if they kick out two weeks worth of McDonald's wrappers to get out of the car, well, that's what they're going to do to your house. I'm not saying that somebody that is dirty is going to be a bad landlord, but at least you know where you stand. Mm -hmm. um, I will go to, if I look at their car and they kind of sound right, if how they're dressed, how their kids, I've had kids, you know, five, six, seven year old kids come up to me, you know, how are you, sir? You know, how are you, you know, and dress great and just very polite. And I've had six and seven year old kids call me a white boy, you know, stupid mm -hmm. white boy and stuff right there in front of their kids. And, you know, no big deal. Um, it's how they, you know, that to me is an automatic. OK, have a nice day. See you later. Yep. But it, all those things go into 
you know, how you feel about the person. You put it all in the computer upstairs. There's a lot more, of course, but um, if you're comfortable, I take the application or their, their actual move-in packet. I almost never mm-hmm. sign it right then and there. I have them sign it, but not me. I always try to, if, if I have the least bit of doubt, I will go to their house. I always make sure I get a copy of their license or social, the right address, and I will drive by their house. If I see four couches and five cars on their front lawn, well, you know, I know that they're going to do that to the house. If it looks fairly mm-hmm. okay and I still am not convinced, I will call them up from a block or two away and said, hey, I forgot to have you sign this one piece of paper. Um, let's, you know, I'm going to be over there in a minute or two. I'll be at your house. And I pull up and I try to get up. And I, hey, let's go to your kitchen table. If they won't yeah. let me in the house, they don't want me to come to the house or they won't let me in no matter what. That tells you something. If they let you in and I, you have to tiptoe over dog piles, then mm-hmm. you know that that's what's going to happen to your house. And if all of that stuff works out and you're comfortable, do what you got to do. Most definitely. So uh, Martin <clears throat> from the Facebook group says, quick, quick money saving tip. Instead of putting mats on the steps and prevent slip and falls, we would paint them and throw fine sand in the paint for grip. Super cheap. So, yep. hey, that's a good thing. Um, so how... You know, first off, this has been very helpful for everybody, for new people out there. I really appreciate it. Um, obviously, you have your phone number here. You know, is that the best way for people to contact you? Yeah. What, you know, how can send people text. send you a text? Okay. Send me a text if you, you know, you have a question or call me and say you're busy. I, I pretty much have talked to people all day. Uh, you can on Facebook, of course, uh, you know, just send me an instant message there. I don't mind if you friend me or something. Um, it doesn't bother me. I'm not one of those guys. Uh, again, through one of the groups, you can always ask questions in there or just send it to me directly. Most definitely. I How, you know, what's, what's the best way that you are finding tenants at the moment? Uh, Facebook marketplace or, well, Facebook period. I, I will post it in my own group and then... Okay. Uh, when you go to post, it will ask you, do you want to add it to these other groups? And I have nine or 10 other groups, Mm -hmm. Detroit sell all Detroit rentals, Detroit apartments, Detroit sell everything, whatever Mm -hmm. for Detroit houses, of course. And I will put it in all those, including marketplace. And that seems to be, has always been historically the best place for me. Uh, Mm -hmm. some people use affordablehousing.com, which is the, uh, official section eight or, HCV program is actually what it's called, Housing Choice Voucher Program. Uh, mm-hmm. It's their official place, but I get next to nothing from there. Some people pay money for it and they do well. I've never done well. So um, you can do, some people use Zillow. I don't particularly mm-hmm. in Detroit think people use Zillow as much as uh, Facebook Marketplace, but that's always a good thing. Um, I have never listed a house for rent on the MLS, especially not in Detroit. I just don't understand. Okay. That. So, you know, no agent would very rarely would want to. So. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's Detroit. So yeah. they're probably not going to step foot in it because word they of mouth, too much money. you know, word of mouth, t- talk to your tenants and tell them, Hey, I've got properties coming up and mm-hmm. you know, uh, these met these groups, etc. Just post in there saying I've got properties for rent. Sometimes that stuff helps out too. Awesome. So, well, I really do appreciate you coming on here, Jay. And you know, if anybody has any questions for him, get a hold of him, contact him. I, you know, go from there. I really do appreciate not only that you know everyone here from our Facebook group has come out. Anybody that I know. Uh, but all your supporters that come out and, and watch this. So um, I really do appreciate it. And, you know, I, I'm happy. I'm always happy when I get to talk to you because, you know, you, you, no matter what, if I got a question for you, you're going to be straight with me. So that's, that, that's the honest guy. You may not like so, my answer, but at least it'll be honest. <laughs> exactly. You know, um, I have, what's funny about that is, is you know, just for a quick story, is there was a, you know, I, I talked with a lot of wholesalers and they're like, oh yeah, you know, I'd be happy to JV on this. And then 
a lot of times when they come to me, it's like last minute. Oh, I need to close on this this week. Well, first off, when they say that to me, I know I'm probably not going to be able to help them. But I try to tell them, hey, this is a teaching opportunity. All right. So I look at it. I look at I'm like, OK, no problem. They're asking. It's a 83 conventional 77 cash. It was a turnkey rental in Detroit on the west side over by Southfield Freeway. OK. And it was, uh, so I asked him, I'm like, okay, doesn't matter what I think A or B is. What do you think A or B is? So he screenshotted one for 83 right down the street. That was less than six months ago. I'm like, okay. He's like, so I, I think A or B is about 85, 85K. I'm like, okay. Respectable, sure. Now, as an investor in Detroit, not being brick, it's frame. Even though it's turnkey, what do you investors need to buy at 70 to 75 percent ARV? And you're saying it's already work, so it means you're already at ARV, so it needs to be 75 percent or 70 to 75 percent of that 85,000. Oh, that's just not going to work. We got cash offers higher than that. I go. Then take why them. didn't you take them? <laughs> yeah. Take them and run. Because that's just what they say to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go in Detroit, people need a higher return for their investment because of a lot of reasons. One, they are not a lot of appreciation. So they need that higher cash flow in order to do that. So. Wow as well as the risk. I, I'm Higher still, risk. I still think that uh, in Detroit, if you pay more than it should be 50 to 70,000 right now is a turnkey property. It, it, I'm not saying they happen every day, but they do happen mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can make money off um, based on those numbers. And if you go over that, especially with the fact that taxes are really starting to get wacky, um, mm -hmm. not that they're, you've gone up, but they're, you know, making sure that, you know, when you buy a property of 50,000, you're paying taxes based on 50,000 when it wasn't that way for a long time. Hi, Bree. Oh, yeah. Bree's awesome. <laughs> um, but, uh, Bree, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, and, then, and Ted said he wants to, when can we meet for lunch? <laughs> you got my number, <laughs> man. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's just crazy. It's stuff like that where I end up turning that into a teachable moment because he may walk away and he may think like I'm just being ridiculous. But you're somebody either from out of state trying to wholesale it, you know, and you, you don't know the area. I do. You know, um, just power. What a hundred percent. So it's, it, it's 100% great. I, you know, so I, nine out of the 10 deals that I look at are just not deals, you know, cause I JV a lot and I encourage anybody, if you, I'll give you my open and honest opinion on any, and any property. And if I don't know that much, I'll tell you straight up. I don't know that much, you know, things like that. That's my, one of my favorite lines is I have no freaking clue about that. And I don't want to say something, you know, that I don't know anything about. So most knowledge is power. Oh, Jay. So, yeah. So Jay Jones says JP has, has helped me out on section eight questions. Shout out to you. I, uh, by all means. And if anybody hasn't seen real estate, Jay Jones, his YouTube channel is really great. We had him on the podcast two podcasts ago. And he was an awesome guy. So he's an awesome guy. So huge, great investor as well. Do what you so. can to save money. By the way, I, I, I've kind of got to give a shout out myself. Uh, yes, I'm please a do. Proponent of uh, Macomb County Habitat for Humanity or any of the Habitat for Humanities. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to save money on doors, windows, all kinds of neat stuff, go to the habitats. There's the Macomb ones are a uh, Topher or a was it eight, seven, eight and a half and uh, Van Dyke and then 21 in Van Dyke. Okay. Um, yep. Otherwise any of the habitats I think is a great charity to, uh, mm -hmm. 
to work with. So you can save a lot of money buying stuff from there, of course. So. Oh That's yeah. Nice. I've seen, I, I, I've done That's that. Good. Um, yeah, yeah I, I've seen that. And then I had, um, I actually have a few family members that had the, you know, Habitat for Humanity, they built houses for people. And uh, they've actually, they live in one of the Habitat for Humanity houses, you know, because they were low income. And it's just with, it helped them be a homeowner when they couldn't normally be. So I, big shout out to that, that community, that Habitat for Humanity is great. And I've been there. I've been to the Detroit one as well, which is, I think it's like Greenfield or something like that. They don't, it has been closed for about four or five years now. Oh it's man. Supposedly reopening up, but yeah, they, uh, they had two of them. The, the last I saw, but they closed that at least, I think 2019 now, something like yeah, it's that. It's been a long time since I've been there, yeah. but any of those, they, they have great things where they're, they're, it, it, it's a deal, you know? Yeah. So you need a new door frame or you need a new door or whatever. Um, you're probably going to put a little bit of elbow grease into it, you know, sand it down, paint it, but you know, you're going to get it cheaper there than you will at, at home Depot, you know? So way by, by drones. Yeah. So, um, so Albert was asking, do you have a YouTube channel or a website? I do not. Uh, I don't sell anything per se. So I try not to market myself in that way. I, if you really want to get a hold of me again, you've got my phone number on the screen. Um, the the group, if you just type, if you go to section, or I'm sorry, if you go to Facebook and type in, in the search and type Detroit Section Eight, the very first group that will pop up is, is a, a says Section Eight housing with a red background, mm -hmm. black and white. Right, that's my group. Uh, like I said, I started that about two years now and, uh, it's, you know, you can always catch me there. If you have questions about section eight that you can go in the discussion there and, and ask questions in there, there's chats in there, et cetera. And, and it's totally free of spam and crap like that. So, um, me and my Most admins do a good job of you're, crap out. And if you're just listening, by the way, his number is two, four, eight, seven, six, four, Nine zero three zero seven six five. Sorry, Randy. Ah, see, <laughs> two. Let me. I'm going to do this. <laughs> two four eight seven six five nine zero three zero. Two four eight seven six five nine zero three zero. So yeah. give him a call. Check him out. See what we can do. Um, he, like I said, he's a he's a great guy to work with. Also, if you're a new wholesaler and you need any help with anything, I'm an open book and I doing everything. I like I'll, I'll work with anybody. I'll talk with anybody for if you just want a quick conversation, 20 minutes, perfectly fine. If you want a one on one, an hour long session, as long as we record it, it's free for content. <laughs> So, I just need a free lunch out of it. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, no, I'm, just hey. Kidding. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to lose some pounds. So yeah, I know that's. I don't, my I don't need to lose the weight. You know, I've been going to the gym. You know, three to four days a week. So. In, invite me to your gym to talk about real estate for two hours, and I will be just fine. <laughs> I've never tried that, and that's a good one to try. Actually, thanks for bringing that up, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So, um. We're, I, I, we're way over on time, but I'm happy yeah. we are because this was a wealth of knowledge. I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, I'll bring you down and just stay behind. We'll talk a little bit after and then, um, go from there. All right. Do this again sometime. We will most definitely. I'll go play my uh, fake piano behind me that I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone for joining. I really do appreciate you coming on and I, uh, you know, showing support, showing, you know, listening to this and, you know, please do check out our next episode. Our, if you want to see our previous episodes, check them out, but uh, check out our upcoming episode. We do this every other week. Okay. Um, I, I'll bring a new guest on. We'll talk about something different. I'm trying to get any, we talk about anything real estate related. 
So with that all being said, everyone, let's all do deals together. Thank you. Have a good night. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel